Hello and welcome. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, this website, and I'm not, you know, endorsing. This is just a website that I've been using recently uh, for sharing images. Uh, that quick and easy, where you can have a direct URL to an image. You know, there are, there are a lot of things like uh, Flickr and um, uh, Google Photos and uh, well, what's the Instagram, where you can upload photos and share them. But usually, to give a direct link to the image, uh, they make it difficult, uh, if not darn near impossible. Uh, but if you want to upload an image and get a URL that goes directly to that, uh, this website lets do that. Uh, mag maga image uh, maga im image yeah dot net that's m a g a i m g dot net uh, and not only that but they also it's also very easy to upload to this site with a shell script which makes it super simple to write a script that uploads an image and uh, returns a URL that you can share to somebody uh, so we're gonna look at it today, get the basics of it, and then I'm going to show you a script that I wrote in the next video uh, that takes this and everything we've been working on the last week or two and puts it all into a script that's, I think, very useful. I wrote, wrote it myself for my usage, and it just makes things super simple. So, let's just see how it works. You go to the website here, uh, they claim that EX, uh, the, the, the information, the data, like location and probably date and time and stuff, I would assume, is stripped away from the image. Don't upload any images or information you don't want to the internet that you don't want everybody to see. That's just a general rule. Uh, I'm not saying not to trust these people. Also, I, you don't know if this website's gonna be here five years from now. Don't use this as like a place to store your photos. Uh, I believe I read somewhere the, the owner of this site has paid a few years out and he promises it's going to be up for at least two years, but who knows what's going to happen after that. You might be watching this three years from now and none of this applies anymore. But as of right now, uh, towards the end of 2018, this is one, and there's many sites out there similar to this. This is just the one that I'm using currently. Um, just little disclaimers there. Uh, don't put things on the internet you don't want everybody in the world to see and uh, don't expect it to be there forever, you know? So let's choose a file. And I'm going to choose this image of my son. I'm going to click open and I'm going to click upload. And it's going to upload it. And then here's this URL. I can send this URL to anybody and they'll be able to open it and see that image connecting directly to it, supposedly with all the, you know, location such type data supposedly removed. I don't, I haven't checked to see if it is. I'm sure it is, but that doesn't mean they're not storing it somewhere else. I'm not saying they are, I'm not saying they're not. They're just claiming that it's restricted anyway. Uh, so that's simply, I guess you can also give it a URL to a current image and now we'll add it there and now you have it someplace else in case, you know, this URL might be a little more restrictive, although if it's restrictive, I don't know if it will work here. Anyway, we're looking at uploading images. So now that we've done that, let's get into, uh, scripting it out. So we're going to use curl. Sometimes I use uh, wget, sometimes I use curl. Today we're going to be using curl. Uh, so I'm in a directory with a bunch of pictures of my son. So let's go ahead and start off uh, with our curl command. So I'm going to type in curl uh, dash s for silence. So it doesn't give me a bunch of the curl output dash f. So we're going to give it a file to upload. Um, and I'm going to do img brackets equal at symbol and then the name of a file. So here I'm going to give it, it's in this folder. So I can just give the name of the file. Otherwise you can give it the full path. Then we're gonna do a semicolon. We gotta give it the, the meme type. And in this case, it's type equals, and it's an image, oops, image, uh, forward slash, what type of image? It's a JPEG file. Dash capital D space dash. And then we're gonna give it our URL of HTTP. Let me make my text a little bit smaller so this all fits on one line, hopefully. Uh, colon forward slash, forward slash, magaimit.net. It's just straight to that URL. And uh, when I do that, we're going to go ho go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to give me what the page returns. And right here, the location is where that image is. So now I should be able to select that URL and open the link, and there's that image. Now, if you try to upload the same image again, it's going to know that it's there. It's going to go through fine, but it's going to see it gave me the same URL. I, I don't know if you uh, actually noticed that. So I'll open it once. I'll go to upload it again, and you can see this URL here matches this URL here. So uh, 
that's good that they don't fill up their server with the same photo and over over and over and over again. Obviously, if you change the photo in any way, it's going to have a different, I'm sure they're doing uh, MD5 hash or something like that to get uh, what type of um, file, uh, what type of file it is, see if it's the same file. So if you change the resolution at all or you do anything to it, uh, it's going to show up as a different image. Uh, but there you go. That is it uh, for that. Of course, uh, let's uh, let's look at a few other things about this real quick before I end the video. So uh, this dash capital D dumps the header, which is this information from the server, uh, with and then dash D just means standard output. So that's that's making sure that we get this output. If we leave that out, let's see what happens. Yeah, we get nothing because because uh, basically it's going. When you do it in a web browser, it's going to redirect you to that image. We're not redirecting with curl here. Uh, if I turn sound off, it might tell you that you're being redirected. But we want the header that the server, the stuff that you normally don't see being displayed. So that's what we get right there. Uh, now let's let's uh, also look at we got the meme type here. I know I know that this is a JPEG uh, image. Um, but as we showed you, I showed you a few videos ago, you can use the file command. Uh, so in this case, file dash dash meme dash type, the file name uh, will give you the meme type, like so. And then I was uh, doing print, awk print column two to get just that. So that's how you find what's put in there. And of course, like I said, we're going to use this in a script later on. So we're going to want to be able to automate that because you might not always be uploading a, a JPEG. You might be uploading uh, a GIF or a GIF or a um, PNG file. I'm not sure all the different formats that the website accepts, but you need to get the proper meme for the file you're uploading. Um, and then, so now that we can get this information, let's say we want to return just the URL here because we're going to use that in a script. Well, we're going to pipe that into grep and we're going to say, um, make this text a little bit smaller again so you can see it. Uh, let's go ahead and clear the screen. Uh, we're going to say grep and then we're going to say the little caret symbol location. And what that's going to say is find the line that begins with the word location. Boom. And then, of course, we can use awk, as I've shown in the past. Uh, curly braces here, print, and uh, dollar sign two, which means get the second column. So this is column one, and then there's a space, and then there's our URL, and that will return just the URL for where our image is. So we'll be using this uh, as, well, as well with a lot of the techniques we've been going over. Uh, in our next video, and I'm going to show you a script that I wrote that automates all this with some nice functionality. So, I hope you did enjoy this. Again, I'm not endorsing this website. You could probably do this with a lot of other websites. This is just the one I'm currently using. I find it simple to use. And since I wrote my script for this website, this is what we're looking over. So, I do thank you for watching. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Uh, there you can search through all my videos. You can also go to the support section, support me through PayPal or Patreon. If you can't support me financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. All those things help spread the word. More people watching my videos is greatly appreciated. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.